How powerful is the French military? A nation known for its rich history, culinary wonders, and artistic prowess. But beyond the Eiffel Tower and the vineyards lies a powerhouse of military might that has evolved over centuries. While countries like the United States often come to mind when discussing military power, France stands as an unsung hero, boasting a self-sufficient military-industrial complex. Today, we delve deep into the legacy of the French armed forces, explore the technologies that make them formidable, and shed light on their ever-present role in global peacekeeping endeavors. Let's start with the structure of the armed forces to understand what they include. The size and organization of the French army are pillars of power. With about 118,000 active members, it is one of the largest standing armies in Europe, allowing France to project enormous military power. Its organizational structure is broad and adaptable, with several specialized units. The main components are infantry, armored units, artillery, and special forces. Infantry forms the backbone of ground operations, while armored units provide devastating firepower. Long-range artillery groups provide long-range support, and elite special forces perform high-risk operations. A strong logistics and support network ensures the smooth operation of the army. In terms of additional forces, France has a reserve army of about 27,000 soldiers, in addition to active soldiers. This reserve is crucial during emergencies or prolonged wars, greatly enhancing the army's capabilities. In addition to this list, France still possesses a full range of nuclear weapons. The French nuclear arsenal, known as the Force de Frappe, is an important component of the country's national defense policy and global security. France, which was founded in the mid-20th century, became the fourth country in the world to acquire nuclear weapons, thus demonstrating its determination to impose itself as a key world power. The Force de Frappe consists of three delivery systems, land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, submarine-launched ballistic missiles, and nuclear-capable aircraft. This triumvirate guarantees the durability and effectiveness of France's nuclear deterrent. Deterrence is the main function of French nuclear weapons. France has a no-first-use policy, promising to use nuclear weapons only in the event of a nuclear attack or other serious threats to its vital interests. This strategy is based on the premise that a credible nuclear deterrent prevents potential enemies from posing existential threats to the country. France's nuclear doctrine demonstrates its commitment to national security and sovereignty. France's nuclear policy is characterized by independence, as evidenced by its withdrawal from the NATO Integrated Military Organization in 1966, to which it returned in 2009, retaining sovereignty over its nuclear capabilities. France is actively involved in disarmament and arms control initiatives and is gradually reducing its nuclear arsenal. But as we know, the French army has played a significant role in the past. The historical significance of the French army is firmly established by centuries of military power and a history of strategic victories. The Hundred Years' War from 1337 to 1453, in which France faced England in a long struggle, is perhaps one of its most memorable episodes. The French army, led by such heroic figures as Joan of Arc, eventually won cementing its reputation for tenacity and perseverance. The Napoleonic era, characterized by the rapid rise of Napoleon Bonaparte, was another turning point. Under his command, the French army conquered most of Europe and created the Napoleonic Code, a legal framework that influenced legislation around the world. Although Napoleon's ambitions ultimately brought him down, his military tactics and methods left a lasting impact on history. In the modern sense, the French army played a decisive role in both world wars. During the First World War, French soldiers and the Allies held the front line against the Central Powers in grueling trench warfare, contributing to the final Allied victory. At the beginning of World War II, France suffered a serious defeat, but eventually revived, and the free French troops led by Charles de Gaulle played a decisive role in the liberation of France in Europe. These historic events reflect the French army's unwavering commitment to the preservation of its nation, as well as its global influence. During the Renaissance, the French changed their vision of the army and warfare, and now the French army's modern equipment and technology are the basis of its irresistible power and influence. France has a long history of military innovation, and its commitment to staying at the forefront of technological progress helps its armed forces maintain a competitive edge in the modern world.
The French Army's armored unit, centered on the state-of-the-art Leclerc main battle tank, is one of the most striking features of the French Army's capabilities. The Leclerc symbolizes the pinnacle of modern tank design with its mobility, sophisticated composite armor, and firepower. Equipped with the most advanced guidance systems and communication technologies, these tanks gave the French Army a decisive advantage on the battlefield providing both defensive stability and formidable offensive capabilities. This tank can only be compared to the Leopard 2 or Challenger 2 in terms of its strength, so there is no need to worry about France's ground forces. As for the Air Force, France produces its own fourth-generation Rafale fighter jet, built by Dassault Aviation. It is an example of France's air dominance capabilities. The Rafale provides air dominance and the ability to hit ground targets with unparalleled accuracy thanks to modern avionics, radar systems, and a wide range of precision missiles. The French Air Force extends the operational range of the French Army and provides a crucial dimension of its combat capabilities. In addition, the French Navy stands as another formidable pillar of the country's military power. The Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier symbolizes power projection and naval dominance. This nuclear-powered vessel serves as a versatile platform for air and sea operations, solidifying the French Navy's global stature. Complementing this are the Navy's robust frigates and submarines, armed with some of the most sophisticated weapons and sensor systems. However, the power of the French Army is determined not only by its historical significance, size and technological capabilities, but also by its broad global commitments and contribution to international security. France, as a key member of the international community, makes significant efforts to maintain global peace and stability through a variety of diplomatic and military measures. France's commitment to global security can be seen in its active participation in international alliances and organizations. As a founding member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, France plays a crucial role in the alliance's collective defense activities. Its commitment strengthens its position as an important contributor to European and transatlantic security. Furthermore, the French Army has been at the forefront of several UN peacekeeping missions. These deployments, often in complex and conflict-prone regions, demonstrate France's commitment to peacekeeping and the protection of vulnerable communities. For instance, France's active roles in the UN Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali, the UN Interim Force in Lebanon, and the UN Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in the Central African Republic. These operations illustrate France's readiness to devote its military resources to resolving conflicts and promoting stability in crisis-affected countries. France's proactive approach to global security challenges also includes powerful anti-terrorism initiatives. The French Army has participated in several anti-terrorist operations, both at home and abroad. An example of France's commitment to fighting terrorist organizations and strengthening regional stability is Operation Serval in Mali and Operation Barkin in the Sahel region. These actions demonstrate the French Army's ability to rapidly deploy soldiers to confront changing security threats, emphasizing the French Army's position as a proactive force acting proactively for the sake of global peace and security. Moreover, France's military involvement in the fight against global terrorism is not limited to Africa. It is actively involved in international coalitions created to fight terrorist organizations such as ISIS. France's participation in these coalitions demonstrates its understanding of the global nature of contemporary problems. Thus, France's regional influence extends far beyond its borders, affecting the security and stability of Europe and neighboring countries. France, as a leading member of the European Union, is actively involved in the EU's common security and defense policy, playing an important role in strengthening the bloc's collective security potential. Central to European collaboration, is the Franco-German Partnership, which amplifies France's significance in shaping the course of European security. The commitment of French forces to EU-directed operations further reflects France's dedication to ensuring peace and stability across the continent. From its historical triumphs to its present-day capabilities, the French military remains a potent force in the global arena. Possessing a rich heritage, advanced technologies, and unwavering commitment to international stability, France not only safeguards its own interests, but also plays a vital role in the orchestration of global security. As we move forward in this ever-evolving world, the French armed forces stand resolute, ensuring that their legacy and impact 
reverberate well into the future. Thank you for watching.